Hi, what's up y'all? Today I'm making a chicken adobo. This is a staple in my household that I do all the time. Now this right here, you could do a paleo style, so you do a uh, coconut aminos, or you just do a regular style and you portion it out so you can get those results in the gym. Let me show you how this is done. All right, y'all, so we're gonna put some onion in this um, chicken adobo that's for the flavoring. Something you wanna know is you always wanna add flavor. So don't get scared, you know? If you don't like onions, just cut them up real fine, but again, it's for the flavor, okay? And what I do is I just go ahead and thinly slice it. You know, it doesn't have to be pretty. And that's about it right there. All right, cool. This is real simple and real quick. All right, y'all, so now we're moving to the chicken. So I do boneless, um, actually I don't, that's a lie. I do uh, bone in chicken breast and I just take the skin off. So what I wanna do is keep the fat intake low. Usually fat is flavor, but for me, this is the healthy version, all right? Um, if you like dark meat, you do chicken thighs, but you just trim it. Open the thigh up, cause it's fat in the inside and just make sure you trim that off, all right? So take off that skin a little bit of fat on the edge so I want to trim that I keep the bone in because it adds flavor also it keeps the chicken breast from drying out completely and then um, it also kind of keeps it intact so it doesn't break apart too much because this t chicken will be tender at the end of it okay so now I'm gonna cut it in half Abs tight, put a little muscle into it, you know. Okay, cool. So there we go. And then we'll move on to the next step. All right, y'all. So I brought my pot up to a high, or excuse me, a medium high heat. I'm gonna add my olive oil. Cool. Then I'm gonna add my sliced onions. I love the smell of onions, cooked onions. Mm. Yeah, that's what's up. All right, now I'm gonna add my chicken. So I'm placing the chicken right on top of the onions. something that you can make a whole lot of. It's better the next day. Because once it's sitting in its juices, and then it's almost like a stew, right? If you cook a stew, it's good the day you cook it, but then the next day after it sits and does its thing, and reheat, when you reheat it, it's even more flavorful. Cool. All right, while that's doing that, I'm gonna add my garlic. I didn't want to add the garlic to the hot pan because I didn't want to burn it. So I'm going to add it now, coat it over the chicken. Let it get just a quick sear. Flip it to the other side. I'm a little shorty, so I gotta get up on my tippy toes. Ooh. Yeah, this gonna be good. Mm, that smell. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Now I'm gonna add peppercorn. Bay leaf. Bay leaf is a strong flavor. Two little ones. If you got a big one, just one big one. Recipes down below. I add my soy sauce.
add my vinegar. And then my chicken broth. Now you wanna check your vinegar. Um, if the vinegar's been in your cabinet for a while, it gets really strong, so you'll wanna cut the recipe or just get fresh vinegar from your grocery store. You'll be good. But that's a good little tip, because if you're wondering why it tastes very vinegary, it's probably you need some new vinegar. But um, yeah, so then I'm gonna just go ahead and kinda mix that together, coat the chicken. Flipping it back over. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the temperature. Let it steam. And then it'll be ready. All right, y'all, let's check it out. See where it's at. Yeah, that's ready. So what you wanna do is just let it sit, rest, you know, until, you know, maybe about 20 minutes. Even 10 minutes is cool before you serve it. I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up. I have it with um, just a quick version of my pancette, more a healthy style. You can do a variety of different vegetables, but that'll be another recipe at another time. Getting results in the gym, I'm telling you, you can get fit, stay fit, love life, eating tasty food. It's real. Subscribe.